I'm going to warn you, it's, it's awkward and it's, it's clunky, but you can see the essence of it there. And I think by time I'm doing the second run of it, you know, it's just, it just continues. I just keep working on it. Um, it smooths out a little bit. And maybe there's even a third time. I'm not positive. I'll press the button and, and we'll see. By the next time Stephen and I are working on it, it, it's, it, it becomes slightly different. But this is the very first thing that we're, we did. And, and, and here we go. Check, one, two, check. <laughs> check and make sure, you know, it's working. Seeing the meters, you know. Do you realize? You can, you can barely hear there. The, the cell phone I had at the time is, is ringing. And so I, I, I pause for a second. I probably see, see what it was. And I'm like, oh, who, who cares or whatever. And then I just go right back to to the recording. We had done some realize types of songs. We used the, the, the word realize in, at the end of um, feeling yourself disintegrate. Oh, and we have um, another song where at the end of it we're saying uh, realize. So I think it was more in this more abstract way. So here we go. Take two. This is, this is after the cell phone interruption. Do you realize you have the most And this is this just one track. The rest of them, I don't, there's nothing on it. We're floating in space. Do you realize? And so I'm, I'm just, I'm just winging it. I really don't know where this is going to go. This is, this is what a lot of songwriters do. You know, you're, you're just... So at the moment, there's, there's no chorus or anything. It's just this one verse. This is the only verse, really, that's in the song that you realize. And so by the time I'm doing it for the second time here, I, I kind of know where I'm at a little bit more. Singing more, more in rhythm and more in, in, in tune with the chords. And just keep, keep hoping it's working and trying. <laughs> and yeah, it seems like it's getting more more confident and I'm settling on these words so I'm, I'm, I'm saying this is this feels like what it's what the lyrics are going to be and like I said there's no chorus yet so I, third time here, I'm feeling like, okay, this is, this is something, and I would, I would play this for Steven, and um, wouldn't, it wouldn't matter that it's not in time. It wouldn't matter that I'm singing in tune. It wouldn't, it wouldn't really matter. It would just, we'd just know the essence of what the song is is about is already here and that's either the essence of the song is either this is great and now we're going to go work on it or this is uh, this is bad or whatever let's keep working on it. let's just change it you know
There you go. I, I struggled through it three times, and I feel like I think that could be a song. And I, when I played that for Stephen, you could see him like, oh, what? Well, okay, yeah, okay. And then when we get to that last time that I do the line, um, everyone you know someday will die. I think you could tell he's like, yep, yep, that's a, that's a, that's a flaming up song. That's a Wayne ism. That's got, got all the varieties of stuff. That's definitely a, man, you heard that line the first time, like, oh shit. It really grabs you, you know? To have the confidence of Steven being affected by the song, and then again, um, Dave Fridman, same reaction of like, you know, it's like, oh, what is this? What is this? And then when that line would hit, um, he would like, okay, well, I know, we're, we're in, let's go. And, you know, you just have to kind of be, you know, blindly thinking, um, we all we all know what we can make this work or whatever and so um but you know this isn't songwriting like you know, we're not sitting down with the pen and paper and writing and, and i don't really know what the chords even are um and i think in some way that has that's freed me up to be a different type of songwriter where it's like you know i'm not really basing it in a certain key or just chord changes or anything i'm just i'm just singing from from pure expression of I think it could be this and um, and obviously with a lot of help a lot of a lot of collaboration from uh, Stephen a lot of collaboration from Dave Fridman um, it, it became this this great great um, uh, moment that I think when we were doing it we wouldn't have really thought I mean, that it's great or it's average or anything we just thought oh this is cool this is something really great to be working on and you know you're just in the middle of working on stuff you wouldn't think Oh, this is this is better than any, anything else we've done, or it says something different than anything else we've done. Um, but in time, I think we we're just very, very very lucky that this essence of the song is is already there. It captured somehow. Um, like I said, to me, the the way I describe it is like the the gods of of music, the gods of songwriting, sometimes just say, "Okay, here you go, Wayne. You know, don't don't fuck that up." And I was like, oh, "Okay, you know, I, I'll try not to." Ha, ha, ha.